I am Dr. Sundar, Consultant Nephrologist, Head of International Transplant Services of the Manipal Hospitals in Bangalore. Before somebody undergoes for kidney transplant, there are various things which should go in the mind. One is who is going to donate the kidney because the problem in transplantation is kidney donation. Because as per the law, close related donors can donate. Anybody who is not related cannot donate so easily. They have to go to a government committee. There is no question of buying or selling a kidney. There is no kidney bank. A lot of patients think there is a bank. So in transplantation, the most important thing is the organ donor who is going to donate. The second most important factor or for me is very important is the question of finance because transplant is not cheap. On an average, a capital expense for a transplant we call transplant package, it varies from hospital. Most hospitals, minimum package and some of the hospitals with not much experience will be 4 lakhs, some hospitals will be 7 lakhs, but that is the capital cost. But after transplantation, a person who has had transplant has to be on so-called life-saving medications to prevent kidney rejection. These life-saving medications are lifelong, they can't be missed, even one dose of medicines cannot be missed and they cost quite a bit. On an average, the first two years, about 25 to 30,000 rupees a month are spent on medications and investigations because the person who's had a transplant is on follow-up lifelong. These follow-up involve costly investigation. So in my experience, a person spends about 25 to 30,000 rupees a month for the first two years and then about five to 7,000 rupees a month lifelong. So these are two important factors in uh, to consider before going for a transplant, whether you have got a good donor who can donate and whether financially you are viable and then you have got access to medical care so that you have got mandatory correct follow-up is done.